So, the bubble spring. This was exactly like the one on rifle. Now the difference is this. Specifically, now the reason is this part is very weak, especially at the seam. Whenever it gets over pressure, this area will get split because it doesn't have a lot of surface area. So at the end of the travel, it hits only this. This has more surface area, so it would be less damaging. For the magazine here, it uses aluminum spring. That is made from soda can. You can see some of the cars there. Yeah. So the original spring wasn't able to cycle. You can see it on older slow motion video of the pistol. You can see that one of them got jammed because of that. Because it didn't rise up properly. I mean, it didn't rise up fast enough. Now, on this one, it used some spring, but it gets compressed further, so it would rise up faster. Now, I have plans for the gun to shoot, like 5 rounds, but that wouldn't work because the spring is too weak and the bullet is pretty heavy. It is like 5 rounds, so 5 of them will be 25 already, plus the casing, that will be around 30. That will be already quite a lot of strain on the spring. Obviously, the spring will still work, but the pistol's cycling speed is much faster than the spring rising speed. So it would jam or it would just not pick up. So I'm gonna have to make my own spring like this. This won't be too much difficult, but it will take a lot of work. Now, for the last two shots, I use different lower. I was using these, um, this to be more size. The fast one is used as a booster since this one needs higher temperature to combust because it doesn't use sulfur. So when it combusts, it doesn't leave any foul smell. It actually smells like It smells like burnt paper. And in fact, I smell you too, viewer. You smell pretty good. For the reason that I use it, is because it generates more gas, more pressure, and higher heat too, which is more energy. Although it needs high activation energy, that's why I use the fat as a booster.